Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Techie Tina. Thanks for the suggestion, Tina. You asked, how do fiber optic cables transmit light data? If you've ever streamed a movie, joined a video call, or sent a meme across the world, you've used fiber optics, those glass-thin strands that move data at the speed of light. But how does light actually carry information through miles of cable without escaping? Stick around as we unravel the glowing science behind the world's fastest communication system, right here on Explaining Everything. So first, what is a fiber optic cable? Picture a spaghetti noodle. Now imagine it's made of super pure glass, thinner than a human hair. And instead of tomato sauce, it's filled with laser beams. That's a fiber optic cable. These cables aren't just lying around under your couch. They're buried underground, stretched across continents, and even sitting on the bottom of the ocean. They carry internet, phone calls, and TV signals as light. Literal flashes of light that travel at nearly the speed of light, which makes sense because it is light. But here's the weird part. That light doesn't just shoot straight through like a flashlight beam. Nope, the light bounces its way through the cable like a hyperactive laser ping-pong ball. Now you might be thinking, wait, how can light stay inside a strand of glass without escaping? The answer sounds fancy, total internal reflection, but it's really just light being trapped in a game of infinite hallway bounces. Each fiber has two layers, the core which is the inner glass tube where light actually travels. The cladding, a slightly different kind of glass wrapped around it. When light hits the boundary between the core and the cladding at a steep angle, instead of passing through, it reflects back and it keeps reflecting again and again. Kind of like how you keep bouncing between your fridge and your couch when you're bored. This bouncing happens thousands of times per second, but the light barely loses energy. So it keeps traveling for kilometers, carrying your memes, cat videos, and embarrassing emails along for the ride. Okay, but how does light actually carry information? How do you go from a laser beam to your 10 hour loop of screaming goat video? Well, it all comes down to binary code, those ones and zeros that computers speak. In fiber optics, these ones and zeros are represented by pulses of light. A flash of light might mean one, and no light means zero. So basically, it's Morse code, but for photons. Special devices called transmitters take your data and convert it into light pulses using lasers or LEDs. These pulses zip through the fiber optic cable at light speed, literally, until they reach the other side, where a receiver turns them back into electrical signals your devices can understand. So if you're watching a video, your computer is basically catching millions of tiny laser blinks and turning them into pixels, sound, and the occasional buffering icon. Now, not all fiber optic cables are created equal. There are two main types, single mode and multi-mode fibers. Single mode fiber. This one lets light travel in just one straight path, like an express lane for photons. It's used for long distances, like cross-country internet lines or undersea cables. Multi-mode fiber. This one's more like a multi-lane highway for light. It allows multiple paths, 
which means it's faster to set up, but can get a bit messy over long distances, like trying to juggle five laser beams in a hallway. Think of it this way. Single mode is like one super-focused laser marathon runner, while multi-mode is a bunch of glow sticks at a rave. Fun, but not ideal for precision. Fiber optics are ridiculously efficient. They can send information over thousands of kilometers with almost no signal loss. Copper wires? They wish! Because light doesn't get zapped by electromagnetic interference like your neighbor's hairdryer or that ancient microwave, fiber optics stay crystal clear. Plus, they can carry terabits of data per second. That's enough bandwidth to stream every episode of your favorite show in 4K simultaneously on 50 screens. Oh, and get this. Fiber cables are made of glass, but they're so flexible you can literally tie them in knots without breaking them. Imagine trying that with a drinking glass. Please don't. Most people don't realize this, but the entire internet, like the global one, relies on fiber optic cables lying on the seafloor. These cables connect continents and carry 99% of international data traffic. So the next time you message someone across the world, just know your words are literally riding beams of light through pitch black ocean trenches, dodging sharks, and passing sunken pirate ships on their way to your friend's phone. Okay, maybe not dodging sharks, but still pretty cool mental image. So there you have it, fiber optics, the magical glass noodles that turn light into your internet. They bend, they bounce, they blink, and they somehow manage to keep your video calls alive, even when your Wi-Fi feels like it's powered by hamsters. If you enjoyed this bright little journey into the world of fiber optics, hit that like button like it's a laser pulse. Subscribe for more illuminating explanations. And if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.